Okay, I was not gonna make this video today because I have a lot of rings to make and I'm super busy, but I woke up today to a tweet that just made me so excited. It's a huge announcement from the Gemological Institute of America, and it's a big win for lab-grown diamonds. And uh, before I tell you what the announcement is, you know, let's have a toast. Stop this video, go to your fridge, grab your favorite flavor of LaCroix, say that the, the, what the toast is for first. The toast is for validation. Ah. So why am I feeling validated today? I'm a goldsmith and I make custom jewelry and I made the conscious decision a couple years ago to stop using natural or mined diamonds in my rings and I only use lab-grown diamonds and um, diamond alternatives such as moissanite. So the announcement that came today is this. After 14 years, the GIA, the Gemological Institute of America, will now be grading lab-grown diamonds the exact same way as natural diamonds. It just really tickles my soul, you know? It brings so much happiness inside. I almost want to cry, but instead I'll just I'll just take another drink. Just to reiterate, arguably the most authoritative gemological institute in the entire world has just announced that they will be grading lab-grown diamonds the same as mined diamonds. It just adds more validity to the truth that lab-grown diamonds are real diamonds. So just to clarify what this even means, diamond grading, that really has to do with the four C's, which are color, cut, clarity, and carrot. There's actually another group that have been grading lab-grown diamonds using the scale known as the IGI, and I've been using IGI with all my lab-grown diamonds for the last couple years, and they have been you know, producing these grading reports for each individual lab-grown diamond. But let's look at GIA kind of as that authoritative figure, kind of like the grandma who loved your um, twin brother a little bit more than you and finally is giving you that hug that you oh so deserve. So basically GIA will be issuing reports just like this one which very specifically have all of the gradings in them. So it will have the carrot, on this report it says 1.73, clarity which is VS1, and on this one the color grade is G. In the past this is what GIA has done. They first acknowledged lab-grown diamonds, you know, some 14 years ago. However, they didn't go all the way. Basically what they did was they said, okay, we're not gonna call them synthetics anymore, but basically we are now going to grade lab-grown diamonds in this kind of generic broad scale. So instead of saying a, for example, the color of a stone, in order for it to fall into the colorless range, it can be graded as either a D, E, or an F. GIA would just say, oh, it's colorless which is super broad. But now, finally, the Gemological Institute of America has changed their ways. Oh, the carbonation is just, it's just a treat, you know? It's a real treat. I gotta get back to work. I gotta make some more rings. I will be releasing some actual YouTube videos soon of me working on rings, so I wanted to create this video just because I'm excited. I will do another cheers to Lab Grown Diamonds, cheers to GIA for finally making the right choice for finally deciding to grade lab-grown diamonds as they should have been all along exactly the same as a mined diamond.